Oh my goodness. <laughs> mom used to make all our outfits. When mom saw the Suzuki class, all the little kids and said, well, do you want to start violin? And actually I thought it was a guitar. So I said, sure. <laughs> but then you're not supposed to touch my violin. Well, yeah, I never did listen. <laughs> you left it out too, so I just grabbed it. Oh, there's Itzhak Perlman. Oh, do you remember what you played? It was a master class. Probably Tchaikovsky. trying to play the pieces I was playing. I know, didn't that bother you? You were always so good about it. <laughs> no, it was cute. Our recitals were always popular because mom was such a great baker. She'd make all the reception food. Mom's acrobatic album. Oh my gosh. That's where we must get the performing genes from. Sometimes I do that in orchestra after lunch. We get so I know, sleepy digesting, you. so I'll just be sitting there and then I'll just kind of put my foot over my shoulder and <laughs> it wakes me up a little bit. Do you remember the audition? Well, thank goodness you roped me into it. You sent me the music and I think we kept saying, well, if you get it, I'll be happy for you. <laughs> you said the same thing to me. Thank God we both got it. Yeah. Having um, my husband in the violin section and his sister and her husband, it feels like it's not just a job, but you see your whole family when we go to work. It's nice to have the friendly eye across the stage. If we didn't work together, we would never see each other, except when the family comes <laughs> into town. <laughs> if I ever told you this, but I'm very grateful you introduced me to my husband. <laughs> because if uh, I hadn't gotten involved, I thought, you know, I'll never date anyone that I work with, and look what happened to us. You owe me big. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think we are really lucky to be able to work together and to live in such a beautiful setting. And It's a great city, a great orchestra. We get to grow old together. <laughs> Sorry, we're not good subjects. 